Hi friends, good morning. I'm Dr. Amit Bangya. I'm the Associate Director and Head of Department, Department of Dermatology, Asian Institute of Medical Sciences, Faridabad. We are in summer, May, June, very, very, very hot months. And this amount of heat and perspiration can damage your hairs. The amount of damage will depend upon the intensity and the duration of the sun exposure, the type of hairs that you have and whether you are suffering from any scalp conditions like you know seborrheic dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis and the general quality of your hairs as well. So various ways in which the heat can affect your hairs are by causing dehydration. So usually the heat season will suck out the moisture as well as the oil from the hairs and leaves the hair dehydrated and the dehydrated hairs are brittle, they are, they are lifeless, they are dull and they don't give a good look. It can not lead to a lot of frizziness, if you, especially if you have already wavy or curly hairs. So there will be a lot of fizziness and fizzy hairs again don't look good. Then heat, if there is an intense heat exposure, if there is an intense heat exposure, it can lead to damage the outer layer of the hair. The outer layer of the hair is the cuticle. Now this protects us from environmental damages. It protects us from chemicals. So if a lot of chemical heat exposure that we have these days. So the cuticle is the layer which protects you from that. So a lot of heat exposure, intense heat exposure can lead to the damage to this outermost layer which is the cuticle. It can also change the structure of the keratin. It can convert the alpha keratin into beta keratin. And keratin is the structure, the, pro uh, the protein through which hair is made. So if that is damaged, you know, the hairs will develop split ends, there will be breakage and ultimately all of it will lead to hair loss. Lastly. If you have highlighted hairs, if you have colored hairs, if you have used dye in your hairs, so the heat can alter the molecules of this color and make it fade away. So if you have color, if you have highlighted and dye hair, it will fade. Why? Because the molecules are damaged by the heat. So how do you prevent this? There's a damage that I mentioned. How do you prevent this now? See, first of all, cut down your sun exposure as much as possible. That's common sense. Second is use products which have UV protection in them. See, they are, UV protection is not only for skin. The UV protection creams are not only for skin. They, are, they come for the hairs as well. So use those protective things. Use this chemical protection to protect you from damages from the sunlight and the heat. Next is mechanical protection. Use a cap. Use a bandana. Use a scarf when you're going out. So that's a mechanical protection. It will protect you from the heat wave and the sunlight. So cover it, cover as much as possible. Then avoid chemicals and heat treatments as much as possible. There's already heat damage. You further you know, accentuate the damage by using those chemicals and heat that should be discouraged as much as possible. So no straightening during this season. Then there's a general rule of thumb. Healthy hair and healthy skin are less prone to damages. So keep your hair healthy. How do you keep it? Well, try to drink a lot of water, minimum 8 glasses, so the hairs never look dehydrated. Eat green leafy vegetables, eat fresh fruits, eat bright colored fruits because they contain the maximum amount of vitamins and antioxidants. Use a gentle shampoo, use a hair conditioner once a week, you can use a leave-on conditioner as well. Avoid heavy oils during the summer, try to use as much as possible, lightweight, weightless oil or hair mist, which are usually made up of keratin and argan oil in the right proportion. Thank you, friends.